Hi, it's Bernie Goldbach. Uh, this is a short ICT-EDU video about setting up Obsidian Publish. So I started with Obsidian with an idea that I could get this place welcome to the digital vault online because I wanted to give students an idea about how to use assets that I've curated. To get that up online, you have to go into your Obsidian and grab the Publish Changes Options Settings. So the Settings cog is what you would think it would be. And set it up, naming your site. I'm calling mine Digital Transformation. I wrote a page about Welcome to This Place, Digital Transformation, and I, and I have a logo that I'm going to use. I'm managing to let myself also edit this site, so I sent an email to myself. And I plan to use my own custom domain later on, and I'll configure that. I also thought it's important to toggle on a couple of things. Lots of people are used to hovering before they and seeing a preview before they click. I think it's important to show where they are on the page, and more, most importantly, to show a search bar. So I've done that. So I put those things in, saved the site settings, then published the changes. You can see there's a guest list which has me in it now, and there's something about the viewer that's new. So I changed the logo, I changed the home page, I published, and then what happens is it takes a few minutes, depends upon the time of the day actually, and then I got this, welcome to the digital transformation vaults. So I got my little logo. On the left hand side, a search bar. And then what I plan to do is list a bunch of different things, 12 different things that are emerging trends. And I'll share this with you as it evolves. Okay, so I'm Bernie Goldbach, Top Golden Good Social Networks. Hope this short little ICT EDU video was interesting. Bye for now.